Okay, so back. Yeah, they're going to get they're going to get their needs met. They're going to get clothes, shoes. Like I I was a victim of the earthquake. It hit in um I think they said What area? Anyway, the earthquake hit like in the valley somewhere, 1994, I'm talking. And, um, but boy, it affected L.A. all the way to L.A. And the valley is a good 30 miles from L.A., 25, 30 miles. I don't know. <sighs> I'm about a good 25 miles from the valley. I don't know. Valley is kind of far. And uh, the valley, it hit. What they do with FEMA is they try to address like immediate needs sometimes. Um, most of the time, immediate, like uh, food, um, shelter, water, those kind of things. Now, um, when you're hit, when you're hit in a very difficult area, and I hear like in North Carolina, a lot of those people live up in mountains and it's, you know, it's, it's, it takes logistics and figuring out where to go, who to go to, when to get there. Uh, if the, the first responder's life is going to be in danger, he can't or she can't save anyone. So I think it's really wicked that... Um, they're saying only 750 people are going to get money for FEMA. And, and that's why we should watch the news and watch proper news and be careful uh, where we're getting news from. Because what would the President of the United States gain? That's brain power. What would he gain from not helping people and especially in this election year. I don't get this. It's the, the, the wild things. The man just trying to... Listen, I just got to say, for people that don't know, Trump don't like people. Unless you rich, unless you white, and those two got to kind of go together. It ain't like, mm -mm. You You can be rich and or... But you got you can't just be white. You got to be white and rich. He did nothing. He lost jobs when he was in president. President, just a lying man. I just, I just can't. Uh -uh. So no, nobody's just getting seven hundred fifty dollars. Nobody's getting done wrong. Um, and if people will be honest, but you know people will lie to to do certain things, but no, mm-mm, 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 One thing I like about sloppy eating cornstarch is the drippage. It's like snow. So no, nobody's gonna just get seven hundred and fifty dollars. What would a president gain from that? Now Trump, when he was in office, because he knew California didn't vote for him. He withheld funds for this state for wildfire victims. He sure did. Because we didn't vote for him. We didn't vote for him, so he withheld funds. Wicked man. Now, if you didn't own a house, if you was living in a shack or an apartment, they're not about to get you no house. They're not about to do all that. They're going to make you whole for what you had, your furniture, I had issues with my furniture when the earthquake happened. Um, 
it affected people in different ways. They took good care of me, FEMA. And let me tell you, it wasn't just FEMA. No, wait a minute. It wasn't no FEMA. They didn't eat. Actually, it wasn't no FEMA. I don't think. I think FEMA came around after when Bush was in office. He did that. Clinton was in office. So the first thing they did, they made sure the community had plenty of food because people's refrigerator, they lost power. Their refrigerators went out. Things went out. So they gave everybody food stamps or they gave me particular, they gave me vouchers to go to the grocery store. And so, because you got things depending on, like if a person was getting stamps, they will give them stamps. But if you uh, did not get no stamps like me, they just give you food vouchers and you go buy what you want at certain stores. Some stores were 75, uh, some was 100. And then they would, um, if your something needed replacing, um, they replace it for you. So I think that's just cruel to say, why? And then <laughs> it's an election year. We're trying to get the best person for the job because the other person ain't even, he ain't even qualified. Let a million and a half people die from FEMA. I mean, from uh, uh, COVID. Why would a president withdraw, withdraw assistance? Don't make no sense. So anyways, let's see something. See if I can make it rain. No. It has to be enough to make it rain. Mm -mm. <coughs> mm -mm. Mm. Um. Everybody gonna be all right. I'm so sorry for all those people that died. Madison, where are you? Well, anyway. I get stuck to the roof of my mouth, the side of my mouth. It's like a pull. Mm, anyway. Yeah. They take care of people. FEMA take care of people. Now, you live somewhere with a lot of water. It's going to be hard. Okay? And it takes some time to get the logistics together. We get the logistics together. Now, what they might end up doing is putting a big old ship out there and uh, rescuing people like that. But I don't know how this, this storm caught these people. They said that part of the country, they don't even really be getting no storms like that. Excuse me. So, no, it's going to be more than $750. Let's go back to 2005 when Bush, when the um, Hurricane Katrina. We really remember that one, right? Bush was so mean. He didn't send any help for for a long time. 
Understand? Logistics. Okay, but I've been to New Orleans. My mom was from Louisiana. Not New Orleans, but been to New Orleans. New Orleans has the Mississippi River there. They said at the time of Katrina, Katrina, they had all of these parked operational cruise ships that they could have just taken people to. They treated them people bad. That was George Bush, a Republican president. They could have taken them people to their ships. They could have gave, had rooms. They could have took hot showers. They had food. They had clean beds so they could just wait out the storm, wait to the water to recede. Didn't do nothing. So I don't appreciate people talking about, how they going to, uh, no, no, I'm not accusing the person asking the question, but that's going around. And it's not true. They're going to take care of those people. Now, this container has great value in it. Before I, I leave for the day, I want some crunch. And put a little bit more in my bowl. Oh my God. Mm. That tastes a little sweet. That's great value. And I put a little sweet rice flour but it's not supposed to be sweet but it is, I did taste some sweetness not horrible yeah so I imagine yeah they treated people well like in California your building had to be red tag okay so when your building is red tag right they had green tag, which means it's okay. Red tag, uh, yellow tag, which means it might be, but they got to check it again. It might be okay, but they have to check it again. Green, yellow, and red tag mean you can't go back in the building. They got to get you another spot. They was paying people's rent up to 18 months. Okay. They was doing six months at a time. You no, know, they go six months and do six months. And they just sit like that. So, I don't want to hear these people talking about only $700. That's, they have, we have a, America has a strong disaster relief program. Okay. Mmm. It's got this dry. Mmm. Wanna put that in there? Mmm. 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 
I'll do one more. It's dry. Ah, dry. I like dry, but it's a different type of dry. Mm mm. No. Wait. Like that container still has a scented smell. And the starch still has a, a slight, uh, the starch has a slight scent, but taste, but very small. Where's my stuff? Oh my gosh. Mm, where's my stuff? Mm. Lemon juice. Excuse, excuse me, me. Whew. I've been trying to drink this lemon juice. Thank you, Islu. Or I'll drink apple cider vinegar. But I'll just try to drink it straight. Mmm, excuse me. Where is my water? Mm. So, cornstarch eating has concluded because I can't eat starch after I've drank, it, drank water. Ah, it's delicious. I have some ice left in that cup. So, hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Uh, God bless you all. Hope everybody is figuring out their life. Just because we have pica in this issue, excuse me, doesn't mean we can't try to take care of ourselves. So let's just try to um, drink our apple cider vinegar and our lemon juice, drink our water, take our stool softeners, take our vitamin D3s, and also, while I'm thinking about it, this will probably help me to be accountable. Um, I'm gonna take two of these. Because it's my understanding that eating cornstarch depletes you. And let me tell you, I didn't really know that before I got into this community.
Okay. Beautiful ladies, ladybugs, butterflies. Whew. Till next time.